Welcome to the Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand everything is planned out. Now, guys, you know I go over that funny article first. And we have Governor Cuomo to get an Emmy Award on how he handled the C-word. That's right, guys. A Emmy Award. The best actor. That's right. Now, guys, let's get over into some news. And then plus, we're going to get into the stocks for actual next week. Actually, for the next two weeks. But of course, I do videos on a daily basis. But another funny article. We have Georgia Senator David Perdue probably pushed for tax breaks for rich sports team owners. So that's right, guys. The rich keep rich, keep getting richer, and the poor just keeps getting poor. Now we have Block Rock Riders say Bitcoin can replace gold. Guys, we see Bitcoin riding up. We see all the billionaires are telling you to buy Bitcoin. That's all of them keep saying is buy Bitcoin. So you definitely have to be a little weary. But the fact is, guys, it's definitely a great investment right now. Now we have. Feds Kaplan say a double dip recession is possible. Guys, we know we're going to go into a recession. We have all these people out of work. We now have the Fed, Steve Mnuchin, cutting the lending programs. And basically, of course, that's a horrible thing. But it will be good in the short term because they have $500 billion to give back to the people. So hopefully they use that for the actual stimulus. Now, another big thing, guys, we have Fannie Mae and Freddie. Regulators look to end the government control before Trump exits. And basically, guys, they want to move them back to private markets. So we already know what's about to happen. You definitely see a housing crisis is starting to summer, guys. And there's not going to be any type of safety net. Same thing when we see the lending. It's not going to be any type of safety net until we get a new treasury in office. And of course, it takes a while to get things going. So it's definitely going to be a wild ride for the next six months, guys. Now, we have BuzzFeed buys back Huffington Post from Verizon. Also, guys, as we know, like a state, always invest in the future. We know virtual reality. Of course, Facebook has its Oculus, and we constantly see the commercials. So definitely, virtual reality is definitely going to be big. Remember, the actual Pro Bowl, NFL Pro Bowl, is going to be held virtually, them playing the Madden. So all this technology is definitely moving forward. Now, guys, when it comes to the actual C word, right now, a lot of those stocks have topped out. So basically, what you should be looking for is the distribution of those actual uh, vaccines. So that's the next best investment to move to if you're looking at the C word. Now, basically, we do have the Wish IPO coming. And, of course, that does rely on, on China. So, you know, as far as this article goes, make it seem like a bad thing, but it's not. We know the emerging markets are definitely coming up. Now, getting over into the electric vehicles. And then also, guys, what stocks to buy over this next two-week period? What do we have? We have the holiday season. We have Black Friday. And that's when we have to look and see who's going to benefit from this. And then also, guys, looking at the EV stocks, of course, we have the work, Workhorse uh, Helion Group. But the fact is that we also have those smaller EV stocks that I'm going to put here. So therefore, you can, okay, it's a smaller play. So of course, you can make more money off of it. Because right now, a lot of the EV stocks have maxed out. Now, getting over into those stocks that are going to make money, during this holiday season. So therefore, we know, okay, I know for a fact their earnings and profits are going to be great. Now, we look at Square. Guys, everybody's using Cash App during the holidays. We know this. They're going to be straight. Walmart. Walmart, Target, as far as shopping, Amazon, they're definitely the only games in town. Of course, Amazon stock is way up there. So Walmart and Target are great plays. We know Home Depot and Lowe's are going to, stock is going to go up. We know they are great plays. And then also, who's going to be delivering all this? That's right. UPS, 
FedEx, that's who's going to be delivering it. So guys, when we're actually looking at the holidays over these next two weeks, get yourself in position because then you're going to have earnings and they're going to say, oh, they they did wonderful because of the holidays. And then plus after Black Friday, they're going to give us the numbers. So a lot of these stocks are going to move up and we know how the media is going to play it. Hey, these stocks went up because they had such of a great Black Friday or holiday shopping. Now, guys, we also have, I played the video on this one. You have Corsair Gaming Inc., guys, for accessories. So we know gaming is going to be big. We know PlayStations, Xboxes. We know they're going to sell out through the roof. And then also, guys, uh, Pinterest is going to be big also for the holidays. So like I stated, guys, make sure you're making the play for the holidays, the tech stocks. Not these, you know, the big techs because we know they've maxed out. But there's a lot of little small companies there that you can invest in that they're going to pay off big during the holidays. Now, guys, we know the stock market is going to start tightening up because of the Fed announcement. And if you listen to my crypto teacher channel, it already told you exactly what was going to happen. We're definitely going to pull back during this time because we know December 31st is going to start the lending programs. The Fed has already said, I wouldn't do that, but they're doing it anyway. So like I said, it is going to take a while for the new Treasury Secretary to come in with the Fed in order to do more programs. We know it's coming, but the fact is, is that don't forget the New World Order works off problem, reaction, and solution. That's what they work off, guys. Don't forget about that. And guys, please make sure you check the Crypto Teacher channel out and also like and subscribe and spread this channel everywhere. Y'all have a wonderful day. ...to be in the business of spending money because the Fed's in the lending business, not the spending business. Uh, if we look at the economy right now, Paul, does it need more fiscal spending or more monetary policy stimulus uh, in the short term? And, and which is more likely? Uh, and does this latest spat actually slightly increase the likelihood that the Fed will act at the next meeting? Actually, I think what the economy needs foremost is fiscal policy. Uh, monetary policy is all in doing everything that it can. Uh, and what this economy needs is fiscal transfers, actually grants uh, from Congress to Main Street. It doesn't need uh, sophisticated lending facilities uh, to support Wall Street. Uh, so what we need right now is Congress to act. Now, you ask, you know, what, what the odds are on Congress acting in the short run. I don't know. But as an economic matter, that is unambiguously the imperative. And I don't think necessarily at all uh, that it puts pressure on the Fed to do more uh, in December. In fact, if anything, I would argue uh, the opposite, because essentially, Mr. Mnuchin just took away uh, some of the Fed's ammo, which he has the right to do because he has the equity uh, in these special purpose lending facilities.